gonna get this one. So I actually ended up getting two papayas because they're so good at this particular store. So you wanna make sure that you always rinse your fruit off. Um, if you can wash your fruit, then wash it. But just the cutting process alone can cause different bacteria to go in the fruit. So the rinsing and washing is very important. And peeling off stickers. The other day I accidentally ate half the sticker trying to eat a uh, nectarine. So papaya has been my go-to fruit <clears throat> um, that I have been substituting um, chocolates for. Because I, I love chocolates. I love candy bars. I love a whatchamacallit candy bar, to be exact. And what I find, what I found, was that my husband had bought me a candy bar, king size. And I put that candy bar up on my vanity for about three to four weeks. Because every time I wanted a candy bar, it did something to know that I could go in there and eat it, but I just chose not to. So the reason why I finally ate it was because uh, like three, four videos ago, you noticed when I said I was having car trouble. So I kind of got a little discouraged, but that's when a lot of people, they fall off. They fall off when they are emotional eaters. They eat because they're bored. They eat because they're sad. They eat because they're, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, all this is a learning process, but as you learn different triggers that cause you to go into unhealthy habits with anything in life, then you're able to build up a defense against it or come up with a solution for it. So I did tell myself I wasn't going to buy any more candy bars intentionally. And now what I do is I will bake a cake. Because the process of baking a cake takes longer. You don't get that instant gratification of chocolate. Um, so you kind of, you have to, you have to earn the sweets. You know what I mean? And so um, the papaya replaces me wanting to eat junk food. Papayas are healthy. They're low in acidity. So This is the only thing I'm going to have a hard time giving up. Smoke neck bones. Gonna have a hard time giving that up. So yeah, this is what I found. Also, that's a good replacement for candy bars. Um, I've also started reading the back of labels. I used to think it was like too tedious of a task to read labels and calories and things like that. Um, but it really does pay off because when you see just how much sugar is in certain products, it'll cause you to be like, why am I eating, consuming this much calories in one sitting? It just doesn't make sense. So also every time I go downstairs to either put a clothes, a load of clothes in or take a clothes out, take a clothes out, take clothes out, then I will jump on the elliptical. So I may just get, you know, um, 10 minutes in here, 10 minutes in there and get off of it, which is really like very minimal amount of calories. But for me, I'm building up my body's endurance for um, long stamina on the elliptical. Eventually, I'll be able to be like, oh, I was on there for two two hours. Because, um, I mean, ultimately, isn't it just walking or is it climbing so, I mean, I love to go around the track and I can do that for about an hour and I don't know, I need to time myself, but the track is huge. It's a long distance. And so I have no problem walking around that, that right there. Um, but it's just being on the elliptical, knowing that, you know, I could do other things. It kind of distracts me, but I'm new to this journey. I'm determined to get down to um, a more healthier size because as you get older, you want to take things into consideration like, you know what, maybe this is too much weight for these bones, you know, it might look good, but let's not go for vanity. Let's go for health. So 
Hey guys, so this is me directly after work. And I just want to say, like, I want this entry to be totally transparent, totally honest. Um, excuse me. Um, I just feel exhausted. And I feel like, how do people do this? How do people do full workouts before work? And then, especially with the work that I do, it's physically challenging. Um, a lot of running. You don't get a break. And for those who have ever waitressed, you know the rest. So, um, I'm determined to stick with this diet. I'm determined to be successful and get down to my goal weight, my aspired look. Um, want to get healthy, but, um, I just want to come up with a solution for being able to work out before work and not be totally exhausted and giving people not the best me, you know what I mean? Um, that's very important that I'm still able to maintain a level of energy to function properly. So if anybody has anything they want to add to this, something that helps you out throughout the day, I guess I did bring that granola bar. It's like a healthy nature's choice granola bar. I forgot about it. I could have been munching on that. I'm talking about being hungry at work. I don't know, but I was just exhausted. I'm exhausted right now. I could go downstairs, get on the elliptical. I may still, nah, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. But I will give me something to eat because once it turns 12 o'clock, I'm no longer eating. And I'm not going to eat until 12 o'clock, after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So, I don't know. Something's got to give. Okay, so I've started incorporating black coffee um, sometimes. I've lowered my intake of coffee. Um, I started eating spinach smoothies. Um, a lot of spinach. Um, I replaced my normal salad with spinach. I don't know why. I don't know if that, it just gives it a better flavor to me, but I don't know if it's healthy, healthier calorie wise, but, um, yeah. So I was also thinking about doing the one meal a day thing because I'm, I'm not really a breakfast person. Right. But then I thought about it and after watching my 600 pound life and hearing what him Hearing him tell those people that it lowers your metabolism to eat once a day, so they rather that you eat smaller meals, um, three smaller meals throughout the day. You know what I mean? So I'm just, again, learning my way, getting my footing, developing patterns that work for me, developing uh, stretching regimens, because I've never stretched before. Like I do, I've been doing Pilates since I was 24 or 23, rather. But I just wasn't a stretcher. But now I'm a stretcher in addition to my Pilates. So I'm determined to keep at it because I want to do it. I'm inspired by uh, just the, the way that I feel from day to day. Um, but that video y'all saw of me talking about, you know, I'm tired. It's after work and all that. I was talking about, again, being hungry at work like you need a certain level of protein and nutrients to even get through a shift some people would beg to differ because they say it's mind over matter but i do <laughs> thanks for watching